Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Peter and this will be part 6 on our HyperQ build. In my previous video I showed you guys how I installed the heated bed. In this video I'm going to finish the X-axis and hopefully when that's done attach the belts and we can get the first movement out of it. So let's move on to the carriage. So for the components that we'll be using in this video I've got my X carriage itself. This is the design that Tech2C to see made. I've tried a lot of different designs but none of them really seem to do what I want or fit it, fit it into my hypercube because the distance between the axes wasn't always exactly the same. So yeah, I went back to the original design of Tech2C. To then I've custom made these uh, bearing clamps. Uh, the Tech2C to is using other bearings, so I had to adjust in these for my bearings. I'm still using an end stop switch. Uh, I know it's not really a must have anymore, but I really don't like the idea of the carriage slamming into the side when you try to home it. So I'm still going to use a limit switch. These are actually, actually pretty cheap. I'll post the link in the description. And then I forgot this one. This is the clamp for the for the belts, and then I've got a bunch of screws. These are I've got six six of these M3 by 20 millimeter screws, and then I've got five of these M3 by 10 millimeter, and of course. I've got six M3 locking nuts. So let's finish this and install it into the frame. I prepared this part off camera because there's really not much to it. Uh, I installed the end stop on the side. Uh, there are two holes provided here. I just uh, screwed the 10 millimeter screws in there. Uh, I've pushed the 20 millimeter bolts already into place and I've attached the belt clamp for now with one screw. Uh, I will tighten these down once the belts are mounted in. So let's move back to the hypercube now. To mount this part you have to keep in mind this end stop, the end stop right here, has to touch with the XI gantry, so if I move it here, I don't know if you can hear it click, but this is what it should do. So right now, <clears throat> let's put the clamps on and then we can go to the belts. Woo! When I started to look up uh, how a Core XY printer works, I just couldn't figure out exactly how the belting system worked. But actually it's pretty simple, especially when you got uh, things set up like I got here, uh, everything's mounted into place, it's really really easy. First I'm going to put these on, I'm not going to tighten them down yet, that way I can adjust the height. It's actually really simple, the first belt goes around the pulley here. Uh, around the engine, it goes to the pulley that's facing towards the engine and then you know it, where you have to mount it on the X carriage. So this is the pulley below, it will go here below on the X carriage. The other side is going straight through the XI joiner, the bottom pulley here, bottom pulley there, bottom pulley here and then it gets tightened down on the side here. And then you do the exact same thing for the other engine. So let's do this.
So I don't know if you can see it here, but I ended up using the same technique as tech to see is describing. The simple reason for that is when I put a zip tie extra between it and I want to move the card to the right, it got stuck into the pulley before the end switch was activated. So now if I want to adjust the tension on the belt, I have to release one of those screws or two of them and adjust it by pulling on the belt itself. Not perfect solution, but it just have to do for now. Uh, hopefully I can get this thing to work. So next, let's see if we can get movement out of it. Before I can actually make this move, I have to install the electronics and extend the wires since these are really too short to reach anywhere. So I got myself a bunch of wire and for the electronics I was planning to use this RAMS 1.4. This one is still installed in my old printer. It's okay I guess but it's only 8 bit so the speed is limited. So I treated myself with this one. This is a Duet Wi-Fi. It's a replica. It's not an original one, it's a replica, so I have no idea how well it's going to run. But I, I saved me, uh, I think, about 50 bucks for this. So let's see if it's worth it. I've mounted the Duet Wi-Fi clone on the back of my printer. I used the same mounts that I got for my uh, heated bed. So this is temporary base it will be mounted underneath but to prevent damage and this way it's easy to hook up things and test things out um, what i did i hooked up the x and the i axis the z axis is still open because i've got no motor installed yet and these are for the extruders these connections are for the x the y and the z limit switch the, I didn't mount them on the frame yet because the cables are too short. I just got them hanging around here. And last thing that I got is the power supply unit, of course, mounted here below. I'm using my PSU of my old printer, so this is a 12 volt connection. It's rated up to 25 volts, so if you prefer to use 24 volt system, that's also an option on this board. Um, and that's it. So let's see if we can get this moving. I also established connection already. It took me three days to figure out how the complete thing works, but right now I'm really convinced that I understand how it works. If you have any questions, if you would like me to explain how I set this up, just let me know. And as promised, I'm going to show you now the movement of the axis. The sound that you're hearing is the fan of my old printer. Um, it's active because I needed the power supply to feed the Duet Wi-Fi. I've got everything hooked up, axis are home. Uh, I'm connected to it. So let's see what this bad boy can do. First I'm going to move the y-axis and that's pretty fast, the x-axis, it's really quiet. I've called this a success. Um, now I can move on to the next thing. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to know something more about it or, or you have a question, paste it in the comments and I relay back to you. Well, bye guys. See you in my next video.